considering that both of these machines have a very similar task of mixing stuff. And the only way they achieve this task is by doing the same movement over and over and over and over and over. The shaker moves anything placed on it in a circular motion, like a merry-go-round, while the rocker moves its samples back and forth on the platform, like a rocking chair. You would use a laboratory rocker over a shaker if you're aiming for a more gentle mixing because the gel or the sample that you have on top of the platform could be more delicate and it may fall apart if you put it on the more vigorous orbital shaker. You may have a solution that you're trying to mix very precisely and you don't want to make air bubbles in it. Thus, you would also go with the rocker in this case too. If you're trying to completely dissolve a sample in a solution, thoroughly distribute a mix of two reagents or introduce air throughout a sample, you need a mixing motion with a bit more oomph to really ensure that everything gets mixed around thoroughly. And here's where you would go with the shaker. 